My earliest memory of Dave is walking into a college player um, board meeting as a guest, because this was this theater thing, and this really cute guy walked by. He was older, and, and, uh, and I was like, who is that? And they were like, oh, that's Dave. He's the technical director. Him making me go up the ladder in tech class. He had to climb up this 25,000 foot tall ladder, go to the top, hang a light, and come down the other side, and if you didn't do it, you didn't pass tech. That is my earliest memory of Dave, and I did. So my first memory of Dave is when I first came to USF and uh, joined the College Players, which was 1990. And I remember meeting Dave and his office was like full of photos, super dirty, more books than I had ever seen. And I just remember like that was my introduction to the College Players and like sitting in that green room on this tattered couch, which ended up being home for basically four years. My first substantial memory of Dave was um, working Spotlight for Godspell and he showed me how to run the really old um, spotlights up in the balcony and then we were doing a show and I was moving my spotlight and it detached from its stand and I was almost going to fly over the edge until I felt an arm on the back of my shoulder and it was Dave pulling me back from falling off the balcony and I almost probably would have died. My earliest memory of Dave is his, him walking um, across the stage with a big belt, giant keys, all sorts of things hanging off his waist, and him directing everyone to build the set for Oklahoma. I think I looked in the theater and I thought, who's that old guy with the long hair, scraggly, kind of running around the theater? What is he doing here? Later I figured out what he was doing here. Well, Dave tells me that my first memory was when I was walking downstairs at uh, Gill Theater just to kind of take a look around as sort of a displaced alumni, and I see this, uh, this hippie-looking dude, and I'm like, who the hell is he? He was building a set at, uh, in the College Players Theater in the other building that's now torn down, and I picked up tools and started helping him. Well, I was going to say my fond memory was him directing Jock Brell, and um, I would always have a bottle of, that was back in the old days, when you could have a bottle of wine on top of the piano and drink it during the show. That doesn't happen anymore. And so I had always heard Dave's name, but he was kind of an enigma, like I never had a chance to sit down with him or talk to him. And the first memory I have, I was just having a class like an EDO 4.0. And I was like walking by and he was just kind of like haunting his office and just like circulating around. And I remember even then the presence he had and the respect he had amongst the students and faculty. First of all, thank you for always being there for me and being so supportive. Someone I could always lean on. I have just always loved Dave. His, um, his, his true, genuine love and care for people and what he does, it's been an inspiration to me too. David, you made a huge difference in my life. I know I didn't end up in theater, uh, but I truly, honestly use everything I learned in theater. I use it um, when I did stage management, I learned how to plan schedules and do logistics and execute things on time and within a budget. I, um, I learned how to work with other people, I learned how to do public speaking, and I do that pretty much every day. So Dave, I just want to tell you that you were instrumental in my growing up and shaping who I am. You're one of the reasons I went to grad school for fine arts instead of getting a degree in psychology, which my family probably would have preferred. Being invited into the theater, being a freshman, coming in, knowing no one, walking in, Dave was there, welcomed me. He was the first person I ever met at USF College Players. Uh, Dave, you have meant so much to my development and my growth, and I just wanted to tell you that what you've done, what you did, because it made a huge difference. This cool guy walking by, and, um, and then I got to meet him, and he was the most awesome human being and cared authentically about all of us. Dave was really important for my um, development here six years ago, and that I really wish they'd rename the theater after him because he, this theater couldn't have run without him over the last 40, 50 years, how long it was exactly. <laughs>